I woke up ridiculously early this morning because I couldn't sleep because I'm so excited. I'm going to the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in Utah to learn how to build a sanctuary from scratch. Gonna be there for a week. I'm excited. Yay. <laughs> She's not awake, but I am, at least for now. I'll probably crash later, but I'm excited. Okay, she dropped me off at the airport. Yeah. I'm leaving. I love you. I love you too, baby. I miss you. I'll miss you too. I gotta have fun though. You sure are. I'll see you later. Bye, have a great time. I will. I had a casualty going through security. My thing broke. It kind of renders my whole cam caddy setup useless. Unless I find some like super glue or something. That sucks. Guess that means I just gotta go handheld this whole time. Didn't bring my selfie stick as a backup, which I should have. So that's my fault, but I'll get through it. Gotta work out. Made it to Phoenix off my first flight. That was not my favorite flight. I was having like a panic attack in the beginning. It was really weird. I don't know what my problem was, but I was able to get through it. My breathing exercises and gratitude and worship music, and I'm good now. So hopefully this next flight will be better. Getting some oatmeal so I have something in my stomach. I'm hungry. Squatting outside an outdoor squat rack. <laughs> Am I making that up? Yeah, that was my most recent blog post. Okay. I'm starting to get a little, I gotta accomplish more, you know? I have all these gifts and, and great situations and I have to make the most of it. I made it. I'm in Utah and I'm at the Welcome Center here at Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. And it is absolutely beautifully breathtaking. Like, oh my gosh, so beautiful out here. I'm gonna get a lot of good nature shots. And I'm just really excited to be here right now. This is amazing. Yay. So beautiful. Nature. I was hoping the cafe was open because I'm hungry, but they closed at 1.30 and it's after 2 now, so it's actually 2.30 now. So I guess I'll just have to eat my cliff bar and circle my way back and find some food on my way to my Airbnb, but I just wanted to come look at the sanctuary and just see it, you know? It's been a long time coming to be able to come out here and it's so surreal and just so wonderful. This is, this is an amazing experience, I can already tell. One of the cats that used to be at NKLA is here. His name is Kojo, and I'm gonna go visit him right now. Yay, Kojo! Hi! Hi. How are you doing, bud? I haven't seen you in a long time. You look so good. So handsome. <laughs> My Airbnb room is super cute. I love it. Only eight checked into my Airbnb and I talked to my mastermind buddy because just because I'm on a trip doesn't mean that I stray away from all of my five pillars with a wall and my marketing stuff You know, I'm still just as, just as involved even though I'm learning something else and also pursuing one of my other Dreams it kind of goes hand in hand together somehow <laughs> But yeah skyped with my mastermind buddy, which was awesome Talked to the wifey and now I'm gonna go buy some groceries so that I have food for the week while I'm here Yay it is Sunday morning and I woke up not too long ago. Just got dressed and stuff. I'm getting ready to go to my first official day for the workshop at the sanctuary. It's gonna be great. I'm a little sleepy still, but I slept pretty good last night, so that was nice. And I'm excited and ready to get this thing going. It snowed last night. 
That's so crazy. Well, here's the whole thing. The roads aren't icy. It's so beautiful out here in the snow. Like, wow. My car is just <laughs> covered. I don't really know what I'm going to do about this because I don't usually have to deal with it, but I'll figure it out. Rules and fasting. It's letter 13 from Seneca. Uh, Seneca the Younger to Lucilius. The moral letters to Lucilius on festival website. So there's always MrMoneyMustache.com and you'll see the start here button on there that takes you kind of to an introductory art. birds in the road. What are you guys doing? <laughs> They're just right in the middle of the road, just like what is? I can't tell. Are they turkeys? Quail? I don't know what kind of bird this is. What are y'all doing? <laughs> That's hilarious. And the group I was with yesterday who does Spay No Show, they do the same. You add a second thing that turns black inside just to test to make sure that they have cooked. Um, um, because you can paint, make the tape go black with a hairdryer. Um, I know, which is very good. How many events do you have? Um, you know, I think we're down one, so it's five. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is the prep area. This is our Spay No Show. All of my old dogs need them too. <laughs> <laughs> Now assemble all the meds we need for every animal area and a rep. We just saw Mary with the last group, Mary from Bunnies was here collecting meds to take over to Bunnies. So uh, we kind of control all the meds from the central. We used to do it in our different areas around, but we were wasting money by duplication. Mm -hmm. So some mm -hmm. sensible person looked at it and went, it's centralized. Yeah, centralized. Okay, this way. I don't know, we're, we're, it isn't just huge on, you know, we do some, right. it's not like some big money. It's oh, nothing no. but high volume. Wow. Oh. Okay, this is, um, my last group said they knew what this room was for. Yeah. Yes, okay. okay. We have an outside door, this was designed, it's one of the exam rooms, but we uh, we put this near the, that door, so if people are bringing in an animal to be euthanized, they can walk through here without having to go through there. Um, it can happen and then back out. Uh, we also use, uh, we do chiropractic, and we do acupuncture and cold laser. So mm -hmm. often those treatments are done in this room as well. Do you do those just for the animals that live here or what about like local people's pets or things no, like that? No, okay. no, uh, good question. Um, we, I think that question was asked earlier, wasn't it? What, what was your question? How long have you guys been having veterinary practices? Okay, all right, that's a bigger question. Okay, um, we, we do spay neuter, we've always offered spay neuter. We had a period when we had a rather not that nice a veterinarian in town. So we would sometimes kind of try and help out. Mm -hmm. But we have a very nice vet now that we work with closely. Mm -hmm. If he asks for our help, we give it. Yeah. And uh, if he if, if they can't if he can't see them, he'll refer them to us. So we don't he's trying to make a living mm -hmm. and raise a family, yeah, you know. Right. So we don't take his business. Okay. 
So the only thing we officially do for the public is spay and neuter. That's me on the end. Yeah. That was that was me. That's you. That's you. <laughs> that's my son, who's now the veterinarian that does all those and things. And there's my youngest daughter. She's actually in two manager, and Erin, who's a caregiver here. So she's on the video. Yeah. She's on the video. Yeah. Thank you for recognizing us. <laughs> <laughs> that was seven years ago. Oh. She told we couldn't have more than one dog in the car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Who have you got? Look at this guy. This is Herbie. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. He <laughs> 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 looks like a Herbie. He's like tiny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 I want to listen to us humans when she's singing. I meant glance. Okay. <laughs> 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 Not to a seminar. <laughs> <laughs> so we call this area behind headquarters for obvious reasons. Um, this is where our staff only dogs live. We also have, um, those are our red collar dogs, staff only. We have 18 and up dogs those are purple collar so they live back here as well we have a few green collar dogs back here those are our uh, kid friendly volunteer friendly dogs but the majority of those live in the heights <laughs> You saw the original octagon. This is what you get when you have more money. Questions about anybody, feel free to ask. You can see um, these panels up here. These are uh, 
and very beneficial. And inside each run, you'll see more Sam Hamels too. We also have in these runs, which is different from Old Dogtown, there's two um, dog doors. So there's one in the door, and then there's <gasps> one on the Hey, door. sweet baby. Oh, he's got all the pillows. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he probably is neurological stuff. Yeah, that's what they said. Walking. Where we keep track of everything. So, like, we have all of the dogs' dog introductions in one section. So we can look back and see what dogs they've done well with, what type of dogs they don't do well with. We have their medical section in here for the caregivers to write notes during appointments. Um, all kinds of stuff. Everything is in here. If they go on sleepovers and outings, their sleepover reports are. Hey, Big Ears! <laughs> hey, Big Ears! Look at that smile! You're smiling! Yeah, you're so happy! Oh, hi, Sam. 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 Hi, so are we all sort of in the hallway? Yeah. Okay. So if you see, why did you come to having to deal with with a condition? I mean, a lot of the people that come to their friends are very willing to take on a condition. Mm -hmm. you know, they are those kind of people. So yeah, we put up for adoption cats that have land dogs that are sick, and as long as you're transparent, you'll find people who are like, "Well, you can come to us. Like, I want to nurse an animal back to health. So exactly. upper respiratory, mental health, as long as yeah. you're or even a similar disease like diabetes, yes. you often have people that have diabetes, diabetes will take on cancer, cancer is another big one, so I'm cancer yep. survivors or yep. one. It's day two. I'm awake. I'm tired, but I'm excited. I didn't get to film much last night. My phone died at the end of, not even at the end, but during the tour yesterday. So I didn't get to film much last night, and I was just really tired. <laughs> but I'm going to film as much as I can today, and I've got my phone charger. So hopefully I won't run into that problem again today. And I super glued the part of my cam caddy that broke. And I put it on, and then it just came undone again. So I just re-super glued it. We'll see if that works. Really hope so, because I would like to use it today. That would be nice. So we think that what with this case, can you have some glory as far as it is? We have to show. He did take one of the horses, but Curly Sue. She had ringworm very badly uh -huh. when she, that first year. We couldn't even touch her, I think. Up here, maybe 42 to 44 horses. I lose count because some leave, some come. So it's about 44. Um, where they're spread out through down here in the upper canyon. Um, you'll see like 30, 40 of them together. There was like yeah. 20 or 30 this morning, like yeah. crossing the road and I'm like, come on guys. 92, prior to that, because we got here in 84, as you know, we had areas around the animal areas where we would bury the pet, you know, the dogs or cats or, or other animals that died. And uh, somebody in our team said, wouldn't it be nice to have a centralized area for it? And we all said, that's a jolly good idea. And so we started developing this in 92. Signed by Cyrus Mejia, who's another one of our founders. He's our artist in residence. And a gentleman in town did the welding and we just think it's beautiful and lovely. Um, this particular stretch here, which we saw as we crested the hill there, this is about three acres. And we have over 6,000 placements here in, in, in this. We call them placements. They're mostly full body burial because it's mostly sanctuary animals. Uh, we have offered it as a perk to our staff for their pets. When they die, they can have free access to this. <clears throat> we do a lot of, we bury a lot of cremains. Mm -hmm. That's the biz term for cremated remains from our members and supporters. Oh, I'll go get more. Yeah, we'll just kind of go, we can go around each side of the path here. Guys, you can go this side too. Yeah.
It's really peaceful out here and I'm trying not to cry because this is super emotional just thinking about like my animals since a lot of them are older and thinking about what I'll do when they pass but it's also like a good idea that Faith was saying that if you know if and when I start my rescue and I have land if I am able to create a pet cemetery for the old guys that pass away in our care and even ones that get adopted or just people that donate are able to bury their pets in that would be a really good asset and just a, a nice place for them to end up when they pass. Whew, I knew I was gonna cry coming over here. And here it is. It's really beautiful though. And I love that they do this for the animals. <laughs> But anyway, one program is each and every wildlife that comes to us in need of rehabilitation. We plan to successfully do so. Coming up in the truck, and she has a windshield. Oh, when your shoulder is giving you a wing, but if she had words to say to you, she'd say, I'm perfectly. This is what's happening down there. The doll is trying to keep us away. Wow. wow. They're all dead She transitioned. She started wearing her tail feathers. Hi, Preachy. That was amazing. And this is our rooster coming on, but then you missed out on the other part. I know. Yeah. So let's go up and. Uh, welcome, parents. Uh, we will do. I'll give you a brief tour around. If you are going in to rescue, eventually somebody's going to dump a bird on you. So like that orange one, is that a sun conure? That is a sun conure, okay. but it's one that has been bred that with the red factor, one. they Look call the it. Or there's one normal in there, the light, right light here. yellow one. Right up top here. Is, is it it here? The birds tell us if you're the right person. You may not know how to take care of a bird. We can teach you that. <laughs> we can't fake that relationship. Wow. Oh, you guys yeah. are so and the birds strange. are real good about telling us who's the right person. Really? There's only been one or two times ever that we have had somebody come here to adopt and none of the birds selected them. And we found out there was a good reason why. <laughs> <laughs> there was one with like a little jacket on. He is a self mutilator. Um, feather destructive behavior and um, and uh, self mutilation is a natural behavior that's gone hair haywire. Hello. Funny on her feet. Yeah. But she still has a really high quality of life. So uh, we just uh, meet her needs. Looks like a bear. Uh, Jeff is just sitting there, so obviously he's not <laughs> going to today. Hello! You are beautiful! Hello! Hi! You know what? Are you doing yoga? I'm doing yoga. Oh, this one's doing yoga. Hi. Welcome to Bunnies. I'll give you guys a quick um, tour around um, and just know that on Wednesday I'm giving a talk on rabbits and guinea pigs, so please come. Oh, I'm sure they love it. Yeah. You're so cute. Oh, you're gonna go in the tunnel? Yep. Like, okay. Hello. You're so cute. Look at the outside. Oh, hi, babies. Oh, you're cute. Oh, hi, Mr. Giggles. 
It's late. Well, not too late. It's like 8 o'clock, but I'm tired. So I'm back, obviously, from the sanctuary. I got back a few hours ago, but I've been uh, reading, talking to my wife, and listening to the Make Moves Monday call for my online marketing group. And just because I'm out here pursuing one of my dreams doesn't mean that I'm going to slack off and forget about all of the online marketing stuff that I'm doing to sustain an income. Even though I would much rather be sleeping or watching Netflix or doing anything else, I read, I listened to the conference call, and now I'm sending out emails to my list because you have to do that every single day. <laughs> if you want to be consistent, if you want to be successful at this, you've got to keep doing that. Because honestly, I absorbed a lot of information and it was information overload. I am just like ridiculously overwhelmed right now. But even though I did that, I'm staying on track with what I got to do and keeping up with my self-discipline in order to be successful. So I'm just saying, if I can do it, you can do it. And my nose is like freezing. It's been cold. It's so cold here still. There's no more snow, but it's been it's been cold and the cold is messing with my sinuses, but I'm still putting in the work. Sort of evolve things over time. And one of the things that um, years ago, uh, in face, I don't believe you guys and scavenge and feed in a little bit different way than in just a pan. And know <coughs> that that they is their mission out. in life, they is to find a out. way to live. Here, here, goats wandering amok in the canyon will not be wandering yeah, amok for long. <laughs> And um, when, the, when the gentleman from OSHA came... Geo-heaters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that what that is? That is what yeah. that is. Nice. Um, so it's nice and warm underneath. I did have him install this expanded metal as a safety cage because I didn't want no, goat trying. horns coming up no, and it had to be low enough. But it is something that we try and do. Um, our goal is to get them you can see too, right? Yeah. So I'm going to pet him first. And no response to petting, so no guarding. He didn't eat faster or anything. Um, I'm going to touch the bowl and take the opportunity to move it a little closer to the tether uh, anchor because I don't, want, again, want him to have pressure on the tether. And I didn't see a response. Did he lift his head up or anything? He looked at it briefly. Okay. I'm going to push his face. Very slight resistance, but not enough to say I was guarding. And then I'm going to take the bowl away. Up, oh, slight resistance there too. Did he freeze or anything? No. Okay. Okay. So no guarding. And I'm just going to give it back to him because he's such a good boy. Um, if, she, if she reaches for his head and he doesn't even notice it, then it doesn't. It doesn't matter. So it's really important that the dog be perceived. Want to encourage behaviors as much as possible. And if you do that over the course of the entire relationship, that is every time you interact with the dog, if possible then the dog's gonna repeat those behaviors because the, she knows that she's gonna get more food. And Haley's doing a wonderful job of demonstrating how she, how if she rewards Angel, who happens to, can be a very jumpy mouthy dog, Angel's gonna to wanna to do this, this sit and down more frequently for her because she's doing a great job of, um, of rewarding Angel pretty frequently for that behavior. Um, the first, the, the very first step in the rollover is to have him track his head around to his, good, to his shoulder. So I'm not going to make him go all the way, roll all the way over um, now because I know that he won't do it. He doesn't know what I'm looking for. Yay! Good job! <laughs> you, now you're starting to get the picture. Come on. Good! Good job! 
It's Friday, so it's my last full day here at the sanctuary, and I'm a little sad that it's gone by so quickly because I've had such a great time. I've learned so much. I've met some awesome people. I've got to see some amazing animals. It's just been a wonderful experience. I am so happy that I did this. I'm so happy that I took the step to start making my dream come true. This is incredible. It's amazing. And find a dead rattlesnake. And the cat's all looking very proud of themselves because <laughs> they've killed it. But uh, dogs obviously are more susceptible. Oh, we've done bad things. So now we only release them a little bit. Right, get ready, Sarah. It's coming too. They're both they're the same. No, they're different. Yeah, she's just going to hold the pressure. I saw the picture of the sweater, but we're going to have to mix one to match. Yeah. And then you said the third ad here. So I adopted my dog Eddie when he was seven. Um, I get up early, so if you want to go. It's my last day, it's not even a full day, and I only get to stay for the first session this morning, so I'm a little bummed, but I had an amazing week. It has been so much fun learning about everything that goes into building a sanctuary and everything, and it's been wonderful meeting new people and getting out of my comfort zone a little bit, and being in such a beautiful environment with all the mountains and wildlife and animals, and I just absolutely loved this entire experience. I cannot wait to come back. <laughs> I haven't even left yet, but I definitely need to come back and visit with Annette next time so that she can experience how amazing all of this was. But I am excited to see her and to see all the little fur babies at my house. That'll be great. And I'm very, very thankful for this experience. And I'm just so happy that I was able to do this. This little farmhouse over here was built by Walt Disney back in the day for a movie that they shot here. It's crazy. Also, there's a turkey and some horses. Feels good to be back in Long Beach. Just gotta wait for the wifey to come pick me up. Give me kisses. I love you, weedy. Oh. I painted a picture of you. I did. I'm gonna show you when we go home, okay? Hopefully, didn't get messed up in my suitcase. I don't think so, though. We'll see. Oh, I miss my baby girl so much. And my baby. Who is it? Who's my little babe? This my little baby. Surprise here. Hi, guys. Hi, Papa. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hello. 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 I know you're excited. Hello, who is it, Bowser? It's Beanie. Hi, boys. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? Hi, hello. You smiling? Yeah. Hi, Bowser. And there's my random cat. What are you doing, Rob? <laughs>